Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back to the MLG AW Open. My name is Jack Courage Dunlop, joined here by the man himself, Hello. Benson. I am a man. man from that EU, now in the U.S., made the great transition here, but we're going to be watching an EU team that is Let's now say. a U.S. Let's team. Say. So Prophecy. it's a European organization known okay. as Prophecy. Yes. Shout out to Oli. I know you're going to be watching the stream. Uh, some of you may know him as Prof Acid. He has wonderful, hey. beautiful hair. I have once touched his hair as well. True story. It is just as fluffy as you think. Hey, let's go. Yes. So now we're in this matchup. Now we're going to be taking a look at Optic Nation versus Prophecy. Now, this is winner's round one of the championship bracket. Both of these teams got out of the good side of their pools, finishing in the top two. Yep. So congratulations to them. Now we're seeing hard point on Detroit. Ben, what are your predictions for this match? You know, it's going to be tough. I've underestimated Prophecy a lot, to be yep. honest with you. And they have come and they've proven me wrong. They really have. This, wow. this team is really, really talented. However, Optic Nation, having spoken to them earlier on in the day, I have to admit they didn't play as well as they should have done mm -hmm. in the in yesterday and some of today's games. And I spoke to them and I was like, hey, guys, come on, like, what's going on? Come on, break it down to me. And they were like, yeah, you know, we're just not not clicking. And I actually uh, spent some time with Proofy last night as well. And he was saying, this is my event. I'm not letting the fans down. I'm not letting myself down. I'm going to come out on top. So yeah, I, I, in terms of a prediction, who knows? Yes. See, that's the kind of prediction I like. Let's play the safe side where we just say, who, who has any idea? Because right now, Parasite's going to be in this hill on a three streak right now. And honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up here that Prophecy right now is the big talk on Twitter. A lot of teams upset because they've been using Stim and other things to make sure that they win. Oh, if it's in the rules, I'm using that too. If you're going to get upset about that, then honestly, you need to reevaluate some things. Because as I said, if it's in the rule set, you're going to use it. Yeah. Simple is, as that. It has definitely helped them get to where they are right now. I'd, I'd say shocking some people finishing in the top two of their pool. Many people thought Team Caliber would come out on top there. They all did have the same match record. But due to the differences in map counts, Optic Gaming and uh, Prophecy were the ones that moved on into the winner's bracket. TK yep. falling into the loser's championship bracket. Nice kill there by Legal. Now this squad is definitely going to put up a good fight against Optic Gaming. I think the key player here is going to be Karma right now. Only at four and eight. This guy is an electric player when he is on fire. So far, struggling a little bit with this team. TP though, 10 and five. Yep. I was talking to him earlier upstairs in the pro player lounge, and he was telling me how online he is not nearly as confident a player as he oh, is on land. Oh, TP, no! He does those things on land. He is oh, fired up. He wants man. to prove that even though he may not be one of the most dominant players online, he can still dominate. See, that, this, is, this is the thing that really confuses me about how people say that. Okay, let's let's look at TP. He's won, I think it's 18 Call of Duty yes. championships yes. overall. He's part of an eighth championship win streak, part when he was with EG and Complexity. Yes. He's tied with the most winningest Call of Duty player of all time. Eight, which and people good. still underestimate him just by his online performance. You cannot do that. Oh, no. When a player is that talented, you have to accept it. This is a guy who can slay, he can play the objective role, he can do anything that he needs to do. And that's what made him so, for lack of a better word, versatile to be completely honest. Yeah, I think that the main thing is that people were doubting how well he'd be playing here in AW with this lineup. Not the most slaying power with Embos and TP kind of both playing those similar roles back there in Ghost. But now you see here in the hill, Embos locking things down here. The captain of this Optic Nation squad, another player who people do doubt. And you can see here just raking in the kills, gets hit by a stun, still getting hit markers. He's sitting at 13 and 8 right now, Ben on a six kill streak. Yeah, he's just going on a bit of a rampage right now. And wow. He's going to get another one as well. Kind of lucky there because Ricky was one shot. And of course, he'd already been firing that bow. Gives you the increased rate of fire the yeah. more bullets you've you've actually taken. I'm curious, is he going to be running anything crazy? No. Doesn't look like it. crazy. He's actually up with the stock there. A lot of players you will see using extended mags on Iron Sight. That's something which uh, the Europeans are very, very fond of. And it has started to seep over to North America as well. Seeing a lot of players decide to run that. Right now, they're 106 to 71 in favor of Optic Nation. Six minutes still to play, though. And it's not really a, a convincing lead. It isn't, but I feel like this game could change just in a, in a blink of an eye. Yeah, TP and Embo is really leading the team in slaying here, which I wouldn't say was expected. I would think that Proofy and Karma would be the ones on fire right now, both kind of getting warmed up here. I know a lot of these teams had some gaps in the day. We've had some Xbox issues, but now it looks like we're getting things started back up here. 
There you can see TP, another kill now, 19 to 10. Can he make it 20 oh, to 10? TP, come on, The man. drop shot there, absolutely disgusting. He is having the game of the century right now here in game one up against Prophecy. He just knows the spawn TP, so come on. Well. You oh. stop that right now. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to get another one. That's seven, seven straight streak right now. And it isn't going to stop here. I imagine if he turns around, he's going to have more kills. Make that eight as he just melts. Could it be nine? He's going to have a play oh, behind him. That was just unfortunate timing. Down. 24 and 11. He played that flawlessly. He yes, knew where they were going to keep coming from. Kept going back and forth, utilizing the drop shot and utilizing the fact that he has the height advantage on these guys. Even though it is ever so slight, it is tougher for them to hit those shots where they can only see his upper body and head. Now, Optic Nation with a 60 second lead, all because they are winning in the slaying category. TP at positive 13 by himself. Honestly, though, I'm surprised to see Parasite at 13 and 19. Yeah, he's been playing really well for the majority of the event. I'm most surprised to see him not actually top fragging for his team, but that lead Optic Nation developed solely basically because <laughs> TP was running around the outside of the half point, picking up every single kill. Yeah. Meanwhile, Embos was just lying in the hill saying, guys, I'm, I, I've got nothing to kill. Um, you guys are killing everything. Yeah. And they picked up a massive, massive chunk of time and some huge point differential now. Once it's fall to 100, essentially an entire hill separates these two teams. Yeah, I, I want to quickly bring up when we first saw this Prophecy team play, I think it was in the 5K where we saw Moach. Moach was on the squad and played yep, with Parasite, Ricky, and Legal. Legal really was a standout player there. He was dropping 40 bombs every other respawn right now, holding his own at 19 and 20. This is a guy who I think is going to have a huge year right now, kind of underestimated. He did do well there for a little bit on denial, but Ooh. AW, I think it's his game. Karma picking up the two-piece. Yeah, Great plays here from Optic Nation. A little bit of windy aim right there. He didn't actually manage to get any bullets yeah. just during that gunfight, which is very unusual considering he had the drop originally, but we'll be on board with Karma now. See if Karma can try to pick up some kills. No! Get turned on Karma. Karma. Nice, big play. Does clean up Ricky, but a little bit risky there. Legal is on a hill too. Yeah, you know, these guys from Prof are coming back, and I've noticed that whenever Prof seem to play Hardpoint Detroit, they kind of are a late comeback team. Mm. They have maybe uh, not so big as 60. I, don't know, I haven't seen that yet, but they'll be like maybe 20, 30 points behind. And in the last hill, they just turn up, get themselves hyped, and they manage to take the W. But Ulti Nation still on this hill. They're picking up all that scrap time until finally Fizz breaks on. But immediately they go down. That's Karma picking up a big three piece in that kill. Yeah, Karma is starting to play to the best of his advantage now at 24 and 21, 25 and 21, 20. 26 and 21. Jeez, look at the whole look at the kill, kill feed. feed. It's, it's all the Karma. Karma feed right now. What was that? What is even five? Is it Quinta? Penta? Penta? Couple Penta feed? kill. Pen Penta kill. Oh God, no. Penta kill. Please Karma, don't bring that up here, Ben. No. You might get okay. in some trouble with uh, the fans out there. This isn't League of Why? Legends. Oh, okay. We only play COD. Hey, but there, what else you call it? TP, what is even that sign that he killed Karma with? What, he hit him with a nade and it just killed him? Like the actual hit? I have no like idea. Howie, I'm going to throw a yeah. nade in your face, boy. Uh, uh, yeah, so there you see now Parasite in this hill. Going to be covering it with his team. Prophecy only now down by 21 seconds. A nice two-piece there by Embos to break the hill. TP, though, still 29 and 19. The slang has slowed down here from this Optic Nation squad as Prophecy is now fighting back into things. Ricky, the only one who's really going negative on that team. There you see almost a two-piece there, but Ricky with a nice turn on there on TP. But now, look at this score. Look at this score. We got a nine-point game, Ben. And Prophecy about to go back into the lead. And this is what I was talking about earlier on. You know, when I said they'll be having a bit of a deficit and they will come back and take the victory tied game 194 oh sorry 193 to 193 when that hill did rotate and you see on that minimap look at those red arrows just running straight towards that hard yeah. point fears with a very important kill there but there's still gonna be two plays on that hill can parasite try and break it he's 29 and 29 should be able to pick up this kill does so but immediately goes down ricky trying to break it in with those nades can he try and stay alive? There's one kill. That was a huge kill from Ricky. And Ricky and nice Fizz break. now both on the hill. And exactly that, a fantastic break. 207 to 199 going into the last minute and a half of the game. This game couldn't be closer right now, Ben. As you can see here, Prophecy definitely in the better situation. They're spawning at that black back glass window, or building, I should say. This is a big Let's kill see for Ricky. if Ricky can pick this up here. No, he oh. does not. A nice break there from Optic Nation. Ben, it is only a two-point game. Now, let's talk about this final school here. Where do you want to rotate now if you're in one of these squads? I mean, right now, it's going to be Optic Nation, which has the advantage on this rotation towards the next hill. Prophecy, they need to fight for that scrap time, but at the same time, they need to send someone to rotate because Proofy is still on that hill. That's and he's huge. Picking up all that, that is time. huge. Proofy just going absolutely nuts. And you see that on that minimap. Optic Nation do have control. Proofy is going to need to get these kills from this Ooh, side, but Parasite, he is not going to be able to do so. 228 to 211 TP on the hill going big for Optic Nation. Turns TP. And burns Ricky 
Oh, He's had a game I of the feel century. so sorry for you, Ricky, because that was not pretty whatsoever. Hubble is going to be contested for Optic Nation with 30 seconds left. It's Looking all but over. putting the final nail in that coffin. Will they reach 250? I, th yeah. <laughs> I think they will. They just absolutely flooded that hill there. Definitely the MVP of this match has to go to TP. 38 and 24. The guy's almost dropping a 40 bomb. That two piece he had on that hill saved the game from Prophecy coming back there. As you can see now, time's going to wind down. Prophecy though, Parasite Look heating up he at the end. Up. 39 and 35. He was the reason why they came back so much in this game. Legal once again holding his own. But there you have it, guys. Game number one. Optic Nation taking it 250 to 212. You can see him there playing in the featured station. Hype getting there on the Optic Nation side. But Prophecy, you know, they were down by a lot. They came back. They wound up losing by about 40. What is their mindset going into game two? It's going to be tough because they know they could have won that game. If TP yeah. hadn't got that two piece and they rotated a section earlier because Let's, not go, let's actually track back to the hill before the last one. Yeah. We actually had Proofy in there, and he was going nuts, man. Oh. He picked up three-piece, and he just picked all that scrap time. If Prof had broken that and were able to rotate a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. they potentially could have had the spawns in their favor. But because they weren't, TP had to go bigger anyway because Prof put so much pressure. He managed to, and Opti Nation are 1-0 up. Yeah, honestly, the only reason why they even had a chance at stopping that school hill was because Parasite had a disgusting three-piece when going to break it. Oh, he was able to make that happen, but with Proofy getting that scrap time, it was basically all but over. You and I made it a big emphasis yeah. on it. But now the next map we're going to be going into is Search and Destroy on Riot. Let's do predictions when we come back. Guys, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. Optic Nation versus Prophecy. More action coming up next. <laughs> 